Welcome to the Western Acre webinar on transportation management. We will cover the following topics, an introduction to TM, a system demo and the possible next steps. Before we begin this webinar, please note by visiting westernacre.com you will find further information on SAP TM but also an extensive reference of SAP supply chain management and logistical solutions. Western Acre brings you global experience and is a service partner of SAP. Indeed, our TM knowledge is part of our end-to-end -end supply chain management and warehouse logistical skills. On westernacre.com, you will be able to find further webinars in relation to SAP, EWM and also service parts management. So to start, a short history of transportation management. Initially, this was the logistics execution module, but did not include the important role of logistics planning. Transportation planning and vehicle scheduling solution introduced planning, but did not allow for inbound and outbound transportation to be managed concurrently. TM6 and 7 added this functionality, but they were standalone solutions. TM8, which was released in 2011, is an integrated supply chain management solution that covers full functionality in an integrated solution. Also, the newly released TM9 incorporates the extensive feedback from TM8 user base. TM now has a solid roadmap and will be the transportation product from SAP that will ultimately replace all previous transportation solutions. Transportation management has been built around four core business processes. The first one is order management, which has out-of-the-box ERP integration in terms of order to cash and procure to pay with freight settlement, so there is ERP billing and invoicing. Order management also covers forward orders, freight orders and booking orders, therefore it covers land, sea and air transportation. The second core process is freight planning and tendering, which allows interactive planning via a drag and drop functionality in a configurable planning cockpit. The planning now covers international and domestic, as well as inbound and outbound multimodal transportation. The tendering functionality covers both RFQ and direct tendering. The platform allows flexible communication with carriers, e.g. by web, email or SMS. Our third core process is freight execution and monitoring, which ensures order fulfilment management and customer compliance management with detailed monitoring through shipment visibility for customers, suppliers and carriers. With the use of event management integration for event notification and handling, our fourth core process is freight settlement, which allows accurate transportation costing and integration to billing. The process we will demonstrate is an international outbound transportation requirement detailing the order management and planning process. A shipper, Richmond Dura Plastics, needs to ship two containers to a consignee in Germany. To do this, it will make use of internal transportation division called Simon Express as a freight forwarder. The transportation is multimodal, which means that it will require a truck from the shipper's warehouse to the port in Newark, then a ship to transport to Rotterdam, and then finally another truck transport from Rotterdam to the consignee in Germany. Now let's see this in the TM system. Transportation management can be used through the NetWeaver business client, providing a more intuitive flow to transactions through different menus. We will now look at some key functionalities in the system. We will start with the basic building blocks of TM forward orders. From a configuration point of view, it makes sense to create specific forward order templates for different types of transportation routes. A typical example could be international outbound shipments or domestic outbound shipments. A forward order is used to initiate the planning process. This can be created automatically from an ERP sales document or manually. 
The forward order at header level defines the type of transportation required and at item level defines the different types of transportation units required to be transferred. In this case, two full container loads. There are also business partners that determine the source and destination locations with the pickup times and delivery dates. Once saved, stages can be determined and also automatic creation of freight units according to a pre-configured freight unit rule. In our case, one container equals one freight unit. Freight units are freight items that are allocated to transportation modes such as trucks, ships and air freight vehicles. It is this point in the process that freight can be flagged for dangerous goods to trigger additional documentation or processes. Now we will manually create a freight booking. Freight bookings can be made for sea and air transportation. We can plan an ocean booking with a capacity, source and destination, with departure and arrival dates. Now we can save our static ocean booking order. Now we are ready to navigate to the transportation cockpit where the planning process is executed and where transportation trips are planned from the source to the destination, possibly involving multiple legs. We can manually plan by dragging and dropping our freight unit into our ocean booking. Now two more transportation legs have been created for our freight unit, from the source address to the loading port and from the discharging port to the consignee address. We can plan automatically by using the optimizer or the transportation proposal. The proposal is where a route is determined by the master data of the transportation network. Also, the means of transport is determined by pre-configured transportation types, for example, less than truck load or a full truck load. Our transportation proposal has created two new freight orders that are assigned to transportation modes. In this case, trucks to and from the ports. We can also view our transportation proposal in a map view, showing the three different legs of our journey. And if correct, we can then save our transportation freight order. These freight orders can then be sent out for tendering or can be manually assigned carriers. The carrier can also be determined automatically. Also, charges can be calculated in the background. Carrier optimization takes into account configured options based on costs or priority or even business share when determining the most effective carrier. The costs are calculated according to static charges or a scale where rate tables and calculation sheets can be defined. So now we have planned all stages of our transportation for one freight unit. TM ultimately delivers benefits to the bottom line through more efficient processes, through better integration, automation and through a single point of control for all transportation, whether local, international, inbound or outbound and independent of transportation mode. Better cost control can be achieved through integration with ERP and slicker reporting functionality. Therefore, reductions in transportation costs results of better planning, better data and therefore better opportunities to negotiate. Also, much improved customer satisfaction through better track and trace, more accurate billing and improved visibility. So, to summarise, transportation management is designed to help you reduce the transportation costs by providing you a more automated, scalable and integrated solution. If you're interested to know more or if you'd like to get to know the SAP transportation management solution better in order to assess potential improvements by using the solution, then we are more than happy to discuss arranging a one day workshop around the topic. West Acker also carries out feasibility studies and can complete fit gap analysis based on our standard SAP TM system. 
We will also help you do a business case scenario, including a cost benefit analysis in order to determine the right solution for your business and in order to support management's decision making processes. That concludes our webinar. You can email us on sem at westernacker.com or use our specific contact list.